Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. My hardest working Capricorns. Every time I try to call my sister Capricorn, I'm working. Uh, this is going to be your soulmate love reading. And um, I hope that the bottom of the deck that showed up, and I'm clearing the energy here, shows up in your reading because we got the Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and the soulmate card on the Pining cards. I love the swans because they mate for life. And then I was just shuffling the keepers of the light. And um, it was weird how Jesus and Isis came out together without even um, finishing shuffling. Forgiveness and magical manifesting. So there, there needs to be some resentment to be let go of and open your um, heart. I feel like it's, it's more like your throat chakra as well it needs to be healed with some blue, blue, blue energy. But you're magically manifesting love. And so your dreams and visions and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. I think you need to refocus on some new goals. Oh, look at her third eye. Uh, some new goals. So I'm going to put Jesus over here with Isis. And you may not believe this, but I, I've done some little bit of research on Isis. And do you know that Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Jesus, studied with Isis in Egypt? Um... I think it's in the books of Mary Magdalene. But anyway, so yes, Jesus did honor the Divine Feminine. So this is Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine here. We're going to look at that. I'm going to cut those again. Cut these again. Oh, look at the lovers just wanting to hang out there. Um, okay, Capricorn. Somebody's coming in hot for you. Keep your eyes open. Ten of Pentacles also means that you're, and look at that, coming out of, of um, Feeling like you've been left out in the cold, haven't we all, right? This energy. Put that in the middle. We're going to clarify with the baby right away. Angels and guides, what do we need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? Please check your sun, moon, and rising. And if you know your Venus, I was just telling Libra they should check their Venus. Aries had a really good reading. Well, everybody did. Even our beautiful... Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio had a good reading. So what is your moon, uh, sun, uh, rising, and Venus? Because you've got a heart of gold, Capricorn. You've got that beautiful cup there full of self-esteem, charisma, charm. Sweet love is coming. I just need you to be a little bit more playful. I know you can play, but you've been working hard. I'm going to put her back in there. Maybe dealing with a water sign. Shh, 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 shh can't make it up man okay all right all right i'm gonna sh shuffle backwards what's coming in for capricorn for july 2021 for july 2021 starting on this new moon on the 10th in in uh, cancer so yeah your home your emotions you know your private emotions you need to check in on that a little bit privately Whew. got a king of wands coming in capricorn fire sign leo aries sag he's looking like i i need to start from the right to the left you know that's how they read in a lot of cultures in the middle east For some reason i'm being told to do that the gypsy within me king of wands we're going to get eight cards and then we're going to clarify. Page of Pentacles reversed. He may not be talking, but he's looking. He or she, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Now, if I turn it upright, it's because I'm told to. Um, wow. Uh-oh. Could be a love triangle happening here, Capricorn. Give me four more for Capricorn. Queen of Swords. Two of Swords. Two more for Love Life. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Ace of Wands? Jeez. And the Fool, New Beginning and Passion. We have the Lovers and the Two of Cups on the bottom with the knight of swords and mm, let's get into this this looks very interesting 
Bonus cards, the lovers and the two of cups. Bonus. Bonus, bonus, bonus. So there may have been a love triangle. Uh, the person that is interested in you, I feel, is making a decision as well. Ooh, you know, I get a lot of readings. Mary, I have three guys I need information on. Which one should I choose? So if you want a private reading, I can help you out there. Um, they start from 24, one, one person, and 44 for three. <laughs> And I answer all your questions and send you a private link. But it looks like you've got a King of Wands coming in, barely hot. Um, he's not talking much. He looks at you, Queen of Pentacles. Switch the gender if you need it. Um, but he's like, oh my God, oh my God, there's somebody else interested in her, which is a divine couple, could be a divine couple. Um, from my divine mass and divine feminine, there, there, there is definitely more than one choice here. Okay. All right, Capricorn, this is you as well with the Queen of Pentacles or the King of Pentacles. Manifesting this divine love. How do we do that? We'll find out. Queen of Swords knows how to cut out what she no longer needs and beckon in what she wants by making a decision. Using her intuition, I see her crown chakra lit up here and her crown chakra lit up here. Take the swords off your heart, my beautiful ones, because some passion is coming in and a new beginning, a new start, a restart. This is my angel of reconciliation. If you want to make a wish, a fool takes a chance on love. Take a chance on love, my beautiful ones. Let's clarify that king of wands, see who he is, what it means for you. And what spirit wants you to know? What does spirit want us to know about the King of Wands? For Capricorn, July 10th, this new moon. What new decisions should they make? And who is this King of Wands? Clarify the King of Wands. Spirit guides. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. I'm telling you, it happened with Aries. King of Wands is clarified by the King of Wands. Somebody is seriously interested in you and super passionate about you. They must have fire in their chart. Now, I'm a Scorpio and I know we're pretty fiery, but I'm also a Leo rising. Okay, and we all have fire somewhere in our chart. Let me tell you, Mars is in uh, Leo. Talk about hot, right? And Venus is right there. This is an opportunity that should not be missed. Victory and success on the bottom, six of wands. This is a man that night likes to be looked up to. He could be sex uh, sexy. Oh, he's definitely sexy then. Successful. He could be an actor. Somebody who likes to perform. Somebody that has won something. It could have even been in some so, sort of sporting event, like, you know, triathlon. God, I've never said that before. For some of you, tell us why the King of Wands is not talking with the Page of Pentacles here. Because he's been hurt by the Queen of Swords. He's been hurt in a karmic relationship. He's, he's avoiding this conversation with you because he knows you have other suitors that are passionate about you just as much. Okay, take it how it resonates. Will there be a new beginning? Judgment, somebody coming back from the past, past life, we'll look into it. It could be somebody from your childhood. Um, hmm. Yeah, he's guarding his heart a bit, that King of Wands, the Three of Swords there, but wasn't I talking about this could be a, a three-way? This could be um, a third party. We'll find out who that Queen of Swords is and if it's his ex and if she's leaving him and if there's a karmic. Uh, we're going to look at the pining cards because they have all that in there. Wow, that's all it wants to say about that. So let's go straight to that Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Is this my Capricorns looking for love? Yeah, Ace of Cups. Oh, oh, wow. Look at that. Ace of Cups and the Four of Cups reversed is the Ace of Cups twice. I just said that to Libra. 
They have the same two cards come out at the end. Because once you get the Ace of Cups, how are you going to get another one? It's right here. The universe is handing this cup to you with peace and love and ever flowing love is the never ending energy. I think you or somebody has come out of their stalemateness, boredom. Yeah, that was definitely that pandemic. And now that Ace of Cups is being handed to you, my Queen of Pentacles. By either a King of Wands or a King of Pentacles. Let's see if it's this King of Pentacles is the one we need to... Who is this King of Pentacles? So my Queens, you're receiving a gift from the universe. <laughs> yes, you are. Another Ace. Yes, yes. If you were asking, oh, I hope it's the King of Pentacles. Yes, it is. Tell us more about this King of Pentacles. What is this? Wheel of Fortune. It's kind of in reverse, but um, I'm just going to take it sideways. Because as the world turns. Is this our new lover? Is this our new lover? Tell us more about the lovers. Tell us more about the lovers here. For Capricorn, please. Oh, this one doesn't want to stop sticking. There is that Knight of Wands. Have some passion. Have some fun. Could be the King of Wands. You know, don't limit yourself. You can date more than one person. Okay? Take your time. Tell us why we have the Queen of Swords here under the King of Wands. Yeah. This King is not in love with this Queen anymore. Five of, of Pentacles Reverse. I think he's leaving her. Making that decision. Why do we have the Two of Swords? Yeah, he's making the decision to move on. There's the Eight of Wands. They have to tell this person they're leaving. It's not going to be easy because they have passion for you and not for them anymore. She's pretty brutal, pretty cutthroat. He's got to get out of this cold relationship and move into something fiery. Ace of Wands. Yep, there he is again. Whoever you're thinking about is definitely thinking. I need to get some sharper nails to pick these cards up. The Hangman. Yeah, your person's getting a new perspective about your relationship or the person that's coming in. Just know that they've had their heart broken in the past. They're not going to communicate and tell you about this ex, but they do have a lot of love for you. They could also be the same person, this King of Wands and the King of Pentacles, coming in with this love offer. Double Ace of Cups. And the... Um, Knight of Wands. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tell us about the passion here with this Ace of Wands, this new beginning, the Fool, and the Two of Cups, I'm hearing. These three cards, please. What does Capricorn need to know? Thank you for liking, leaving messages. I totally answer all of them. And again, Mystic Wisdom Tarot at Gmail if you want a private reading about your specific person. Ace of Wands, thank you for supporting me. Ace of Wands is the sun. Oh my God. <gasps> You're going to get pregnant if you want to. Or if you discuss with this new person, like, do you want to have a family? I think this could happen so fast. You know, you hear about back in the day, our grandparents ran around the corner to get, you know, magazine or pack of cigarettes and run into the person they married the next week. And they've been together 50 years. Look at Jimmy Carter and uh, Jimmy Carter and his wife. They've been married, can you believe it, 75 years? And they're so cute. Because they love every day. The sun comes up every day and these rays are shining on you. It is your time this summer. Love is coming. Passion is coming. Renewed. The fool. Sun is the happiest card in the deck. Very divine masculine. What do I see? The star. This new relationship, you're going to know, listen to your intuition, is super healing. Take a leap of faith. My empress went way down there. Darn it. I don't want to grab her. But the empress came out. And the star again. Can't make this shit up. My God. Brand new life. There's another fool. I got to get her. Oh, wait. There are two cards. You know, no matter how big a desk any reader gets, the cards can fly. I don't understand those readers that just 
you know, cut the deck and turn all the cards over. I can't, those readings don't work for me. Oh, <gasps> wow. Venus and Mars. You know, the judgment. Somebody's waking up. You know who you want. You are the Empress. You have a life experience that, like no other. This King of Wands is your new lover. You're looking fabulous. It's a healing relationship. Stay focused. Put your intentions out there. Visualize what you want and then get busy loving yourself. Let's get a Romance Angel card. Romance Angel for Capricorn. Beautiful month for you, you guys. Your magical manifestors let go of the past. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. You guys never do that. Listen, deception. Someone is wearing a false mask. Ooh, somebody needed to hear that. So one of those, I think it could be that other king. Oh, and honeymoon. Lovely. So maybe you're going to, to Venice with those masks. Look at my Venetian mask. At least it's, oh. Make sure they take off their mask. <laughs> the one over their mouth. You want to see their face. You could even ask them, hey, you've been vaccinated? You want to take off your mask? I want to see your smile. Flirt. Men love to be flirted with. Women love to be flirted with. Say, give them compliments. All right. And I think something fabulous is going to happen. Let's see how this person really, really sees you the person that is on my capricorn's mind right now not a new person but the person that is on your mind capricorn think about that person unstable oh my god that that is that queen of swords for sure there's an unstable person over here if this was relating to you and your situation yeah that queen of swords is unstable um Time to let that one go. But this one over here, the King of Wands, is the one. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Just for shits and giggles. Ah, accidental love. What'd I say? Turn the corner and you could get married next week and live happily ever after. It's all about being in love every day, waking up with that sun. And feeling, yeah, waking up after getting a good night's sleep. So you've been in, thinking about this at night. Be patient. Insomnia. You guys, turn off the devices by 11 o'clock and get to bed. I know, it's hard. Soul level. This is a soul level love. You're going to get the call. This person is going to be calling you soon. Ring, ring. God, I miss old phones. I mean, I'm not that old, but... Something fell. Spirit guides for Capricorn. What is their message? Spirit guides for the collective Capricorn group. What do they need to know? Romance. Cupid's arrows have struck. It is time. Okay. Only time will tell on the bottom. I love you. I send you all my healing blessings of love and light. Every time you watch my videos and hear my voice, I send you healing energy and good vibes reiki and all that good stuff and my crystals as well have a beautiful new moon don't forget write out your goals change the furniture around invite the family over it's very very cancerian time right now sweet love is on your way mars and venus are together in leo it's perfect timing for you capricorn I just feel like you having this glow right now, like everything that glitters is gold. Oh, a rare opportunity. All that glitters is gold in romance for you. Yay. Love and light. Namaste.